The United States of America is one of the most diverse countries on the planet. People from all over the world immigrate to this country, and as the years pass by, it's now a melting pot where individuals with unique backgrounds and upbringings gather. The USA also has a rich and diverse culture, and there's more to it than what most people know. From the ruins of Casa Grande to the Miami Circle, here are 15 shocking things recently discovered in the United States. Number 15. Ruins of Casa Grande If you love a good mystery, then you might be incredibly intrigued by the ancient mystery of the Casa Grande ruins. For about a thousand years, this now abandoned compound in Coolidge, Arizona was once inhabited by nearly 2,000 ancient people, known as the ancestral people of the Sonoran Desert, until they vanished in the 1400s. The ruins that you see here were built in 1350, and now it's known as the Great House, or Casa Grande. For many years, the people that lived here mainly sustained themselves through farming, with the blessing of the nearby Gila River. However, they mysteriously disappeared in 1450, without a trace. The ancestral people of the Sonoran Desert have no signs of written language, and all that's left to tell their story are the ruins of villages, irrigation, canals, and ancient artifacts that still exist around the compound. If you visited or lived in the Sonoran Desert, then you can probably imagine how hard it was to create these structures made out of mud. One of the structures found in this compound is the amazing Hohokam Archaeoastronomy. Researchers found out that this simple mud structure provides astronomical information about equinoxes and solstices. The walls are perfectly aligned with the cardinal points of the compass, and its holes let the sun rays pass through where it can illuminate the back wall. Archaeologists also say that the Casa Grande served as a ceremonial site before, although its origins are still very much a mystery, even today. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Centralia, Pennsylvania If you've seen Silent Hill, then this next place we're about to show you may remind you of it. Just take a look at this place. The streets are empty and gnarled. Each corner is laden with sinkholes and trash. The location looks like something straight out of a horrible nightmare. This isn't just a location created for the set of Silent Hill, it's actually a real town that exists. What you're seeing are the remains of the town of Centralia in Pennsylvania. Centralia was once a thriving and beautiful neighborhood, known for its abundant coal mine, until May 1962, where an unforeseen accident reduced the town into emptiness. The town first ordered the local landfill to be burned to clean and reduce the increasing pile of waste. They didn't expect for the fire to spread throughout the unsealed tunnels and openings. Local firefighters were unable to stop the burning, and many chose to evacuate the town for their safety. Just like the town of Silent Hill, the air in Centralia is dangerous, and it's very harmful to stay in this abandoned ghost town for long. Back then, many people tried to extinguish the fire, but they failed, and the fire still rages on even today. And researchers predict that it may still continue to burn for a hundred years more. The ensuing years after the fire proved to be very tormenting to Centralians. All of their money and efforts to extinguish the underground fire went to waste. Many suffered from respiratory infections. In 2002, the town's zip code was suspended by the United States Postal Service, and the town was inaccessible for quite a while. It's technically a ghost town that now inspired the very famous film. Centralia increased in popularity after the film was released, and enthusiasts of the horror film began to visit the abandoned ghost town. I like horror films myself, but I won't dare visit this town. You'll never know what inhabited the place after the townsfolk left, although it's tragic to think about how a small community where everyone knew each other was reduced to this quiet and lonely place. Number 13. Woolly Mammoth of Michigan in 2015, farmers working near a field in Chelsea, Michigan were all surprised to discover this nearly complete skeleton of a mammoth. Mammoths were an extinct group of elephants that lived a long time ago. Based on research, they may have even survived in North America between 10,500 and 7,600 years ago. Mammoths were greatly described and widely seen by the art of primitive humans. These great animals may not exist today but they still left behind a lot of evidence about their existence. Some mammoth corpses were found trapped in ice. Unfortunately, sled dogs that found them ate their meat. Tusks and skeletal remains just like what these farmers found are extremely valuable. So much so that there's actually a mammoth tusk trade going on in the melting tundras of Siberia. 
This discovery is also special because mammoths were rare in Michigan because of the waxing and waning glaciers. The mammoths may not have been able to adapt and survive the changing climate, and they inevitably disappeared from Earth. Number 12. Mojave Phone Booth It was by complete luck that this phone booth in the middle of the Mojave Desert in San Bernardino County, California was found. Miles away from any human life lies the Mojave Phone Booth. In the middle of the desert, unpaved roads and dry environment, it's quite amazing to think that man still managed to install a means of communication. One man named Godfrey Daniels encountered the phone booth by complete happenstance. Any of us would probably be tempted to dial the phone booth's number in the middle of the night just to check who would answer the call. Because of the phone booth's obscure location, it's become the center of conspiracy theories where people proposed all sorts of crazy ideas, from aliens to alternate universes. The phone became popular all over the world, with its number published on its very own website for thousands of people to see. Unfortunately, its popularity caused its downfall as well. The sudden increase in traffic proved to be a problem for the authorities of the Mojave National Preserve and the National Park Service. The fact that it even exists in the first place attracted a lot of people from different places just to check if the viral internet story is true. Sadly, the phone booth is now demolished, but many still believe the theories and mysteries that surround it. Number 11. Peephole Cinema, San Francisco If you appreciate films and classics, you'll surely enjoy this next entry. I bet no one would ever think that there's a theater nestled between these alleyways. We've been taught that you should always mind your own business, but if you're willing to take a peek and peer through this peephole, you'll have the privilege of seeing some silent film vignettes. As much as we'd love to tell you its location, it's hidden in an alley somewhere in the heart of San Francisco's Mission District. It's literally a hidden gem, and if you ever have the chance to go there, just keep your eye out for a red wall. And if you spot it, get ready to crouch down and crane your neck to check out these vignettes. This peephole first spread through word of mouth, and in my opinion, this just adds to the attraction's charm. Number 10. Pitcher, Oklahoma Time stops for no one and change is inevitable. While some changes are good, some can be tragic. For instance, it seems that the community of Pitcher, Oklahoma was a normal place up until September 2009. You'll still see Pitcher, Oklahoma if you search for it on Google Maps, but you'll see that the roads are blocked. What used to be a peaceful residential community is now a toxic ghost town. Instead of people, the only thing you'll see in this town are rocks, stone, lead, and iron all of which are nasty, toxic remnants of decades of past mining expeditions. It's quite eerie to see this abandoned small town today, considering that in 2006, it was still inhabited by more than a thousand residents, and its local school had 340 students. Founded in 1913, this town capitalized on its lead and zinc resources. A mining company set up shop and brought thousands of workers who founded this town and the nearby settlement of Trees, Kansas. The area was considered to be a mecca that supplied most of the metal used for ammunition during World War I and II. The resources soon depleted and the environment became unstable. There have been a couple of incidents where mine shafts collapsed and caused entire houses to be sucked underground. This wasn't the end of the town's tragic fate. Researchers soon revealed that a significant percentage of children living in Pitcher had elevated levels of lead in their systems, which can cause brain damage. Since then, Pitcher isn't really one of the most inhabitable and ideal towns to live in. In 2008, the government advised the residents to leave the town, and this decision was further solidified when a tornado devastated the town. It's quite odd to think that just a few years ago, people lived in this town, and today, there's nothing there. The churches and schools are completely deserted and empty. Number 9. Stalactite, Oregon Every once in a while, a genius is born among us. The great stalactite organ is one example of an amazing creation. It was invented by Mr. Leland W. Sprinkle of Springfield, Virginia. This genius worked at the Pentagon as a mathematician and electronic scientist, and he created this instrument back in 1954. Mr. Sprinkle was amazed by the ancient stone formations in Luray Caverns, and he became intrigued when his tour guide tapped the stones using a small mallet. The action produced a musical note and just by that one sound, the world's most unique instrument was conceived in the mind of a genius. This amazing instrument was in the works for three years, requiring tons of research and precise calculations. Stalactites from over three and a half acres of the caverns were meticulously altered to create the correct tone. There are electrical mallets throughout the caverns, 
The mechanism works just like a normal organ. When a key is pressed, the electronic mallets will tap the correct stalactite to produce the correct sound. Through this careful method, the world's largest musical instrument was created. However, today this organ is played much like how a child's music box operates. You can still play it though, and the great stalactite earned recognition throughout the whole world. Number 8. Presidential Heads Imagine walking in the middle of a field and suddenly stumbling on 43 giant crumbling presidential heads. These statues lie in the middle of tall grasses in Croker, Virginia. These giant ghostly effigies are enough to catch someone off guard because of their blank stares and eerie appearance. These statues are between 18 and 20 feet tall and they were originally created for an open-air museum park back in 2004. The sculptor of these statues was inspired by the iconic faces of Mount Rushmore, and he certainly did well in creating these larger-than-life art installments. But because of its location, the park failed to attract many visitors, and no one could obtain the upkeep any longer. As a result, these ragged statues are now just left standing in the farm, left to be destroyed by external factors. Number 7. Vashon Island's Bike Tree Anyone would be mind-boggled once they see this rustled bicycle stuck in the middle of a tree trunk. This is Vashon Island's bike tree. It's found in Washington just outside of Seattle. The old bike is suspended inside the trunk of a tree about 7 feet off the ground. Many people find this sight creepy because it looks like the tree attempted to eat the bicycle. There are many stories surrounding the bicycle tree. One of the most famous stories about this attraction is that this bicycle belonged to a young boy that went to World War I but never came back. Just like a last memoir, the tree consumed the bike, even after its owner never came back. No one really knows if this is true, and the only thing people are sure of about this tree is that the bike was abandoned in the mid-1950s, and the tree consumed the bike as it grew. A children's story has even been written about the bike tree, and today, a lot of people visit Vashon Island just to marvel at this curious sight. Number 6. Lake Michigan Stonehenge you'll never really know what you'll find in the ocean. Back in 2007, a team of scientists who were trying to find the remains of sunken ships discovered a miniature Stonehenge under Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is one of the great lakes of North America, and it's the largest of all lakes found in the United States. The stones were arranged similarly to Stonehenge, and archaeologists estimate that the stones are about 9,000 years old. The stones can still be older though, as scientists found carvings in the stones that resemble the mastodon, a creature that went extinct more than 10,000 years ago. The exact coordinates of the site are kept hidden to protect and preserve it until scientists and researchers can take a better look at it. It was also requested by the local Indian tribes that didn't want their land to be disturbed by crowds of tourists curious to see the newly discovered site. Number 5. Sturgeon Two buddies had a pleasant surprise back in 2013 when they came across a sturgeon that's about 8 feet long in Lake Washington. Unfortunately, the sturgeon was already dead and floating belly up north of Matthews Beach. This discovery is quite unique because sturgeons aren't usually seen in this location. These fish are bottom dwellers, so they're not really easy to spot. So what makes these fish so unique? The sturgeon is a long-living fish and they reach maturity around the age of 20 years. On average, these creatures can easily live up to 60 years, but many sturgeons can live up to 100 years. How cool is that? That's not the end of it. The earliest fossils of sturgeons were found along with the dinosaurs. This means they've survived and competed in an environment with fearsome prehistoric reptiles. And now it's time for today's topic. Just take a look at this picture. Mankind has been curious about extraterrestrial life ever since the dawn of science. Many of us are still wondering whether life really exists in space, and people's imaginative minds created a bunch of depictions on what aliens may look like. This photo shows a small creature curled up. Area 51 in particular has been the center of rumored alien research, but no one really knows for sure. All we know is that UFO and alien hunters have been obsessed with this location throughout the years. Do you really think we've been visited by aliens before? Do you think that some of them chose to coexist with us here on Earth? And what do you think about this image? Is it real? Or could this be another hoax? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Pony Henge In an old dirt patch in the old Sudbury Road in Lincoln, Massachusetts lies this creepy roadside attraction. These tiny ponies are arranged in a ring in the dirt patch. 
There's really nothing creepy about Ponyhenge alone, but the fact that there are no signs of life around the attraction gives this location an eerie vibe. According to locals, the attraction originated from a headless horseman prop that was thrown away after Halloween. This idea gave birth to the Ponyhenge. Originally, 50 ponies were in a tight circle in this field, but today there are only 30 found in the area. Usually, the ponies are arranged in a circle, but some people claim that the horses change formation quite frequently. No one knows who moves the horses, but since they're less labor-intensive than the actual Stonehenge, it could be anyone, from kids playing to adults that happen to drive by. However, some people claim that they get the Jeepers Creepers from this location. Number 3. Dighton Rock The Dighton Rock is a 40-ton stone inscribed with a mysterious text. The text was said to have been created by a person that lived back in 1680. And today, we're left to decipher the note in Berkeley, Massachusetts. There are many theories surrounding this stone. Researchers theorize that the Dighton Rock may be proof of a visit from ancient Phoenicians, while other researchers claim that it was created by Vikings. Some people also claim that perhaps the texts and inscriptions left on these stones are nothing but decorative scribbles by someone that lived a long time ago. Number 2. California Sphinx the sands of time can hide, but also uncover a lot of things. And in 2017, the shifting sands in the dunes of Guadalupe, California revealed a very intriguing discovery. Archaeologists discovered a complete Egyptian sphinx, and none of them expected it. Many immediately speculated that this may be an ancient relic originally from Egypt, but they encountered a little letdown when they inspected the sphinx further. Unlike the great sphinx found in Egypt that was made out of North African limestone, this one was constructed out of plaster, and unlike its Egyptian counterpart, the Guadalupe Sphinx isn't that old. It was theorized that this Sphinx is likely to be one of the props used in the colossal movie set constructed in the area back in 1923 for the black and white silent movie titled The Ten Commandments. The props used in the movie were no joke. The set of The Ten Commandments was once the largest set ever created. It featured a pharaoh's gate that's about 12 stories tall and about 720 feet long. It also featured 21 sphinxes guarding a perpendicular corridor where hundreds of actors reenacted the scenes written in the Bible. Even if it wasn't an original sphinx from Egypt, archaeologists still worked from dawn till dusk to make sure that they'd safely excavate the whole statue. They also struggled because the site has been considered to be a protected environment since the 1970s. Indigenous groups reside in the area, and it was imperative that the dig didn't disturb any tribes or groups. Many filmmakers and enthusiasts were in awe when they discovered the prop. The plaster statue also holds meaning to the thousands of people that built the set. Number 1. Miami Circle Back in 1998, a property developer discovered a very intriguing site while demolishing a 1950s-era apartment complex in downtown Miami. Instead of a normal demolition, the team discovered hundreds of mysterious holes in a layer of limestone bedrock. Due to this discovery, the demolition plan was immediately put to a halt. As they further inspected the site, they discovered that 24 large holes form a perfect circle that's 38 feet in diameter. Not only that, but the archaeologists also discovered tons of ancient artifacts from human teeth to tools. Radiocarbon dating suggests that these artifacts may be about 1800 to 2000 years old. The Miami Circle is quite special because it holds the only known evidence of a prehistoric structure built into bedrock in the entirety of the United States. Many believe that the site was once occupied by the Tequesta Indians, a local tribe known to use shark tooth artifacts. There's a huge possibility that the Miami Circle had been used as a ceremonial site, judging from the artifacts and the bones. Which of these entries caught your interest the most? And have you ever visited any of these places in this video? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.